I was wrong. I was desperately wrong. As a pastor of a Christian church in the conservative South, I told gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgendered people, and even kids, that who they thought they were wasn't who they were. I told them they had to change. I told them that at the core of their orientation and identity, they were sinning. I was wrong. People ask me all the time, how did you change? What led you to have the courage or whatever it was to lead a congregation of a couple of thousand people to change on this issue? A congregation that we watched walk away, two-thirds of that congregation. Why did I change? I changed because the fruit of what I was teaching did not match what we called it. In the Christian world, we call it good news, and there was nothing about it that was good. These kids were suffering. And just like throughout the history of the Christian church, we don't change in the ivory tower, and it's not in the abstraction of academics and theology. We change because human need, human suffering, finally accumulates to such an extent we have a pang of conscience. And it drives us back to the text. And we ask ourselves, have we read this right? I was driven back to the text just like my four Bears, my ancestors have been again and again, whether it was the Gentile inclusion in the beginning of the church or slavery or inquisitions, crusades, the treatment of women, suffragism, on and on and on. I was driven back to the text to ask, did I read this right? Not only did I not read it right, I read it horribly wrong. It is time for not just a few smatterings of churches here and there, a denomination here or there to change. It's time for the entire Christian church, for religions writ large to change. I've changed and you can too. These kids' suffering demands it. It is time. It's past time.